Hey guys, 123Toy back again with a brand new video. In this video, I'm really excited to get back to you because this is a video review of something that might actually be my favorite thing that I have ever reviewed on this channel. At least something that is not actually a driver. So let's go ahead and look into it right after this. Now, most of you guys are familiar with Sonos. Sonos is a brand that creates whole house audio. Now, when you go to Sonos' website, you can buy all these different units that you can put inside your kitchen, your living room, your dining room, your bedroom, wherever you want. And it gives you the option or ability to be able to play the same music out of each and every one of those speakers throughout your entire house. Now, that is pretty cool. But the DIY community, we really haven't had anything that could really do that or compete with that, at least not on a large scale. And that's where this comes in. This is a small unit by Rilling. Now, this small unit has the ability to be able to do exactly what a Sonos system does. Let's go ahead and take a look a little bit more in depth on it. Now, when you take a look at the board, you're going to notice a couple things. There's not really much to it. There's a WPS button on it. There is a spot to plug up an antenna, which it does come with an internal antenna, although you could also plug up an external antenna. And it has two JST terminals, one for power, which does run off 5 volts. Great. That means we can run it right off the of USB power. And the other is for auxiliary. Now, there is a 4-pin auxiliary connector, and that fourth pin is to run an external WPS button. Now, the reason why that is all great and good is because to, in order to take one of these and hook it up to your existing equipment, it just takes two things. A power board, which I use right here as a USB board, and an auxiliary jack, which I solder directly to the wires. Now, once you do that, you can create your own enclosure, like I did, out of walnut and maple. And you can plug this up to any of your existing DIY builds. Now, if you don't want to do that and you want to use this inside, say, a new build, say, like a portable unit or something else, you can do that, of course, as well. Now, the great thing about this is that you can connect up to 10 of these at once. That means that you can have up to 10 separate rooms and you can play music inside each and every room. So that actually brings up a really good point. How do you connect these? Well, you connect them via your existing Wi-Fi network. Now, it does work off wireless G, and you will have to connect that. That's where the Muso app comes in. Now, Muso is free and is easily downloadable off your app store. Now, once you download that, it walks you through the process of adding a unit, and you can add as many units as you want up to 10. Now, the Muso app is what most of you guys are going to be using in order to operate these units. However, for those of you who are DNLA set up already, or for those who are looking to get into DNLA, this does have DNLA on it, and that's really what separates it, especially for those of you who do DNLA. Now, I don't, and so I just went ahead and tested the app itself. Now the app has a couple of already pre-built stations in it and since I haven't memorized those stations I'm going to read them to you. The first is of course my music which is any of the music that you have downloaded on your phone. You do have TuneIn Radio, iHeart Radio, Spotify, Tidal, Napster, and Qo Buzz. It does also say you can add more services. I didn't worry about doing that. I mainly used iHeart Radio. Now, once you've downloaded the app and you have all of your speakers connected to your Wi-Fi network and named with the room that they're in, now all you have to do is start playing music. To do that, you just select the room you want to play music on and start playing it. Now, if you want to add more rooms to it, you just a simple drag and drop, and you continue to drag and drop all the rooms that you want to. One thing to note is there is a slight delay in adding the room, and that's because it is actually syncing the music together. And it will sync it before it starts playing in the other room. Now, that is really cool because that was one of my concerns. I set these up all over the house. I set them up upstairs. I set them up downstairs. I set them up in my bedroom. I set them up 
my living room. And since I had three of these units to test, I wanted to make sure that one, distance wasn't an issue, and two, I didn't get any type of delays. Now, I'm happy to report I didn't. The delays were unbelievable. At least there was no noticeable delays that I noticed. I even put speakers in the exact same room to try to find out if I could notice any type of delays, and I didn't at all. It was just an unbelievable experience. In fact, my mother is visiting from out of state, and she listened to these at both the living room and kitchen, and she was amazed. And one of the cool things about it is if she was in the living room and I wanted to turn down the volume in just the living room, that does allow you to control each individual room's volume separately. Now, you might be wondering, well, what if I want to listen to music, different music in the kitchen and the living room and the bedroom? Don't worry, you can do that. Remember when I said just drag and drop to all the ones that you want to listen to the same music? Well, just drag and drop if you don't want to listen to that music and start whatever station you want to on that particular unit. So that means that you can mute a speaker that you don't want to be listening to. You can listen to something completely different in the bedroom as you are in the living room, or you can do the entire house playing the exact same music at the exact same time. Now you guys can see why I get so excited about this. Really, honestly, in the DIY world, we didn't really have units like this, especially nothing as easy as this is to set up. I wasn't really sure that I was going to like it as much as I did, but I gotta say, after using it and really, really testing it out, this is probably my favorite little unit like this that I have ever tested. And it really does open up a lot of possibilities for those in the DIY world. All right, so are there anything downsides to this? Well, yeah, there's a couple downsides. Uh, first, it doesn't offer every service available, such as Pandora. I'm a Pandora user, and it doesn't offer that, at least not on the Muso app. There might be a possibility of adding that DNLA. But like I said, I didn't test that. Now, the other problem is for those of you who use Spotify. Now, this is a Spotify issue. Spotify, unfortunately, requires you to have a premium service agreement with them in order to do multi speaker systems. So if you're a big Spotify user, you're going to have to pony up some dough in order to get that whole house experience. Now, if you guys are interested in buying this, check the description down below. I added a purchase link in there. I also added some links to the USB power boards as well as the 3.5 millimeter jacks for anyone that wants to build something like I built. Now, if you want to find out more about the company, go ahead and check the link in the description as well. There will be a link and they even have some that are already made in a box. So if you yourself don't want to get into the DIY part, you can go ahead and buy one that's already made. All right, guys, if you have any questions, any comments, any concerns, anything at all, please leave them in the comments section. If this is your first time visiting, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to make sure that you get new videos each and every time they come out. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.